Hi, my name's Dan, and this is the first in a short series of videos that I'm going to do about vectors. And in this one, I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to vectors. So here we go, vectors. Da, 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 da. Uh, vectors are maths. So I, ho I hope that doesn't put too many of you off. Don't worry too much. We're just going to be dealing with ideas, and we're not going to be dealing with directly with numbers at this point mostly in the future as well. Uh, we're not really going to be digging into the numbers behind uh, vectors because Unreal will do that for us. So vectors are a mathematical idea. Um, and the thing that we need to remember is they're not real. So you don't walk down the street and suddenly go, oh, there's a vector. Um, it's not something that you, you can see, uh, unlike, obviously, things that are in the real world, like dogs and trains and roads and hippopotamuses. Um, however, vectors, uh, as a mathematical idea, are really, really useful. Uh, they're good for us uh, to help us understand how the real world works, and they're used as what's uh, called mathematical modelling. Uh, so that's part of when you want to do simulations of the real world, vectors can come in uh, hugely useful. And those simulations could either be mathematical simulations or they could be visual simulations like unreal is uh, it simulates the 3d world for us um so they're they're a real useful thing to use let's dive into what they are uh so here's a vector okay it's actually an arrow um a vector is something which has a length but it also has a direction um, and at the moment it's just an abstract idea we've got this thought of something whatever it is has got a length and a direction and usually we show it as an arrow when we're showing it on graphs and diagrams and things like that okay so it oh and it can be 2d or it can be three-dimensional uh, so this of course because i'm using a 2d screen i've got a two-dimensional uh, vector here in unreal the vectors most of the vectors that you'll deal with will be three-dimensional vectors um, so they're useful for representing things in real life that have a length and a direction. Um, so these are things like how to go from one place to another. So if I wanted to say how to get from Newcastle to Edinburgh, I could say, well, it's 100 miles. But you need to know the direction as well. You need to know which direction you're going to head in. Now, normally, you'd head off on the road uh, or on the train. But if you could fly and you could go directly, then uh, if you had an exact direction and an exact length, then even if you had your eyes closed and you could fly, as long as you don't bump into any crows on the way, um, you'd get to Edinburgh. Okay, it's also useful for things uh, like velocity, uh, acceleration, and forces, and we'll see all of these uh, later on in the series of videos. Okay. Vectors are not useful for things that only have a size and there's a lot more of those things when you start talking about physics and measurements uh, so these are things like weight temperature speed okay so we talked about velocity but velocity is a speed in a direction a speed is just a number so if you're uh, getting done by the police because you've exceeded the speed limit you've been going 95 down the motorway they want to know your speed they don't care about the direction that you're traveling in and of course hopefully that you're going the right way down the motorway um distance again that's like uh, uh instead of instructions are from one place to another which could be called displacement sometimes distance the distance from here to edinburgh is about 100 miles but also it's about 100 miles to leads in the other direction um so it's the same distance very different uh, vectors um energy is just a number okay so in numbers we usually express a vector using the cartesian coordinates don't be put off by the posh word there cartesian uh, it's the mathematical term for it um, you'll have seen coordinates like this possibly in a graph or certainly on maps uh, where they use two numbers to describe a location. And in three dimensions, uh, you'll use three numbers. So uh, for a vector, what you do is you imagine that the bottom end, which is the non-arrow end of the vector, is at what's called the origin, which is zero, zero. 
Um, so that's zero in the x direction, zero in the y direction. And the top end, we give the coordinates for that. And those coordinates for the arrow end at the top end are a mathematical representation of our vector. So it gives us numbers that we can use for number crunching. Okay, so here's an example, zero, zero, of course, at the bottom end, and X and Y at the top end, which represents uh, a certain amount of uh, movement in the X direction, which is horizontal, and it's quite normal to use X for horizontal and Y for vertical. So you've got an X direction and a Y direction. Now I'm going to plug some numbers in just to give you an example here. So for example, four, this could be four centimeters, it could be four miles, it could be four light years, whatever units we're working in. So four in the Y direction, sorry, four in the X direction, two in the Y direction is represented as bracket four comma two close bracket. Um, and you can point this in any direction you want. And if you're going uh, in some other ways from the from the origin, you might have some negative numbers in here. So this one uh, here is pointing, it's got minus two in the x direction. So along the x-axis, we're, uh, we're going backwards. Uh, so that gives us minus two. We've still got the same amount in the y direction. So this vector would be represented as minus two, two. Okay. In three dimensions, of course, we need three numbers. So we've got x, y, and z. Uh, so here's an example. We've got three, uh, comma, four, comma, uh, minus seven and a half. Okay. And in Unreal, z stands for upwards. Not all 3D systems have the same. So the good news that we've got with vectors, even though we've looked at uh, some of the numbers, um, we're not actually needing to do any number crunching because Unreal does all the maths for us. The hitch that we've got is we just need to know what it is we need. So we need to know enough about vectors to be able to give the right instructions to Unreal. Okay. So I've just got a third person template map here. Nothing changed at all. And we're just going to open up the third person character so we can get into uh, one of the blueprint uh, graphs. And I'll show you, uh, we're going to create a new variable and make it a vector type. Uh, let's call it my vector. And change the type over here, and vectors down here, and vectors are yellow in the Unreal coloring system. Um, so just to show you a couple of things with this, we can uh, drag that into the graph and... Uh, there are a couple of things we can do with vectors immediately uh, in what we know if we can use break vector, which will break it down into its constituent parts. So it gives you the, the three components, the X component, the Y component, and the Z component. Um, and they're all floating point numbers. And uh, you can also do the opposite. So I'm going to put a set in there. This script makes absolutely no sense, of course. Um, and so the opposite of break is to make, and you can make a vector from uh, three floating point numbers. Uh, and quite often you might be doing something like this, uh, popping the, a couple of the values across and changing one of the values, so there might be some maths in between here. Or in this case, we're just setting the y to zero. Um, so you can do what you like. So that's a, a, a start. It's a, a quick primer on what the... Uh, concept of a vector is and uh, a quick look at uh, starting vectors in Unreal. You're going to need to watch uh, the rest of this series of videos to understand vectors in a deeper way, but that's it from me for now.